Good morning, Foxes. Um, I have another story for us to read today. Um, it's <laughs> It should look familiar. It's one of you guys' favorites. How to Catch a Dinosaur. I was able to go to school yesterday for a couple of minutes, and I picked up a bunch of our books that we love. So I'm excited to be able to read them to you. And don't worry, Camille and Anna. I also brought How to Catch a Unicorn, and I'll read that one tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and get started. How to Catch a Dinosaur by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. Science fair. First prize is what? Right, a bike. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense. All dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that over there? Yes, I think it's a dinosaur tail. Do you see it? The dino is more bird than reptile, we learned in science class, that's true. And this one left something behind. I've got our first dinosaur clue. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. Goodness, do you think they'll catch her? I don't know. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be? She's on to my tricks. Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, I ruined Mom's prize-winning roses. Uh-oh, I think Mom's gonna be mad. We made a prehistoric playground. And with lots of friends to play, our dino won't be able to resist. This time, she won't get away. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. <laughs> my, my mom is an engineer, so I've learned a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. Is that a dinosaur? No, it's an iguana. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch the dinosaur soon, ugh, I'll be lucky to come in third. We didn't catch the dinosaur. Ugh, I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. We did it! They won! The Robo Hugger 9001. Better luck next time! The end. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll be back tomorrow with How to Catch a Unicorn. I'll see you guys then!